I can remember the first week of St. Luke's like it was literally yesterday. Go! My teacher was Mrs. Olson, and she obviously could not be sweeter. She always was so kind and so welcoming of everyone. I think she set up this culture within the classroom of kindness, and so the people that were in that class with me, I'm still super close with, and I think we will always have that. I remember after fifth grade, I was like, I was, I was really into math and I was doing well in the class. And we talked with some of the teachers and they, they were just like, yeah, you, you can, the next year you can take a, like a more advanced math class because you're, you have this genuine interest in it. All the teachers are really supportive. If you're interested in something, they're, they're definitely going to make sure that you have the right resources to better explore that. I think in middle school, by, by letting me explore as much as I wanted to, that, that really like, you know, set the foundation for my success in high school. You are encouraged here to be an active thinker and learner and really taught to love learning. You know, the course load here and the workload can be intimidating at times, but the teachers really encourage you to just like step back, take a breather and to attack it with a different perspective and really budget your time well and manage your sort of emotional drive well into uh, tackling that uh, maybe all the homework you have for one night or studying for that test or that paper. Um, and I think that's a great skill to have for life. Forming such strong relationships with teachers is really like where I've found success is like the smaller classrooms and really getting to like dig into things and honestly like take tangents into where I'm curious or where like my questions lie. Like a classroom is almost a community and it, it ebbs and flows and it goes back and forth. And just being understanding of like the student life, involving themselves in the classroom but not speaking down to us. And while they may be leading that discussion or that lesson, they're still a part of it. And I think that's, that's really special. Confidence has always been something that I've struggled with ever since coming to St. Luke's. Um, starting in fifth grade, a lot of my teachers noticed that I would typically have the right answer. I would just either be really shy or I wouldn't want to contribute or I was just so, so sure that I was wrong. And throughout a lot of the years at St. Luke's, they've always told me like, you just need to be more confident. Like, you know what you're doing, just believe in yourself. Our teachers are really, really there for us. My teachers have been my support system, um, my advisors. They tell me when they think I'm taking on too much. And they've been like my friends. And I, I think that that allows us to take risks where we wouldn't be able to in another environment. You can try new things, do something that pushes the envelope a little bit in your classes and create opportunities for yourself without worrying about people judging you. Everyone here is so supported in anything that they do. Um, and I think that lets everybody find an outlet where they can express themselves. And that's really important. It makes a very diverse and interesting student body. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to like forget how I've progressed and grown as a person here because it's really been so like fundamental to who I am. Those are some of my favorite people in the world. And some of the smartest people I've ever met have been my teachers here at St. Luke's.